the hell? <laughs> I'm Steve. She didn't have to cut me off. Think I like it never well guys, I'm gonna be a hater today. Yesterday, I saw what has got to be one of the worst things that I've seen all year, and at this point, you guys should know what that means. You've gotta see it too. Luckily for me, however, that's probably already been done for me, because what we're gonna be talking about today has taken the internet by storm, and for really no good reason. Yesterday, the long-awaited trailer for the Minecraft movie was finally released, and holy shit, does it look bad. Never in my entire life have I seen anything that is more of a soulless cash grab than this movie appears to be. This looks like nothing more than Warner Brothers googling what is the most popular game of all time, picking the first thing they see, and then following up that search with what is the most popular video game movie of all time, and picking the first actor they could find from that movie. If you think that this is anything but that, I've got a few bridges that you might be interested in. Now, I feel especially qualified to talk about this because there's there's no disappointment here that is influencing my opinion on this movie. I'm not hating because there was something that I was really looking forward to seeing in the trailer that I'm not getting. There's nothing like that going on here. I, I don't really want to say this because it's just such a, it's such a douchey and snobby thing to say, but I'm not a, oh God, I can't bring myself to say it in front of people. I'm not a, I'm not a mainstream movie kind of guy. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, I disgust myself sometimes, but really, these kinds of movies are not my thing. People shit themselves when I tell them I've never seen a Marvel movie. To say that I wasn't particularly looking forward to the Minecraft movie would be kind of a massive understatement. When this movie was announced, I was just like, oh, okay, this, this is what we're doing now, huh? Thanks, Chris Pratt. Which really, he is to blame for this. The Super Mario movie is the only reason this movie is getting made. It was a digestible enough movie for adults, and obviously kids went fucking insane over it, and it made Universal a lot of money. So that means we're gonna see a lot of these in the next few years. Which is really not a good thing, because if you're old enough to remember the last time that Hollywood was experimenting with turning video games into movies, you'll remember that they were all so fucking bad it's not even really funny, and they kept making them then. Now we've entered into an era where video game movies are setting box office records, which means we are fucked. It's gonna be pretty bad for the next few years as Hollywood goes down the list of the best selling video games of all time. In a year we're gonna get Jack Black starring as a Tetris piece. Six months later we're gonna see Chris Pratt as Franklin from GTA 5. It's just gonna get really bad. But for now, I guess we should just focus on the bad that's in front of us. Now this video is pretty much gonna be a game of cat and mouse with me trying not to get copyright striked by Warner Brothers. So we're gonna see how this works. But I wanna show you guys as much of this trailer as I can in case you haven't seen it yet. You really need the full experience, so let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Okay, so I'll try to start off on a positive note here. The one and likely only thing that I will give this movie credit for is that I feel like the world looks pretty good. I feel like it's a pretty decent blend of making it look a bit more realistic while still keeping that Minecraft look. The world itself is visually pleasing, but that's really where the positives end because that goes out the window once these fuckers walk onto the screen. Why this is not a fully animated movie, I honestly have no idea. I mean, just looking at this frame, this looks bad. Like, really, it looks like a shitty green screen project I would have done in high school. The perspective, the shadows, everything seems off. Maybe it'll end up being relevant to the story that these are real people, like they got sucked into the game or something, but I cannot understand this decision. <laughs> Okay, so here's another complaint I have. This trailer is about a minute long. For the last 10 seconds, we did nothing, but just look at the characters' faces. My biggest complaint about this trailer is that it does not tell you whatsoever what the fuck this movie is gonna be about. That's arguably been the biggest question surrounding this movie. What the hell is the story gonna be? And we don't get any sort of answer to that whatsoever. We just spent a sixth of the runtime of this trailer on reaction shots, and we're gonna add to that total. What the hell? 
Okay, so I want to say something. This movie is going to be bad. It's going to be terrible, I guarantee you. But I don't think it really matters. Because if you watch through this trailer, it's going to become very apparent. And really, common sense should just tell you this. This is a movie for young kids. All the gags, all the jokes are pretty surface level. Ha ha, it's an animal making a funny face kind of stuff. It's a movie for kids, and that's fine. My question is why, since Warner Brothers obviously knew this was the direction they were taking, are Jack Black and Jason Momoa in this movie? I mean, are those big actors in the child sphere or something? I don't know. Like I said, I think this should have been a fully animated movie from the get-go. But if you're gonna go live action, why cast these two? First of all, elephant in the room, Jack Black looks nothing like Steve. I feel like that's kind of important. And boy, oh boy, I know I'm gonna get flack for this one, but do we really need another Dwayne The Rock Johnson? By that, I mean just another actor who plays the same fucking role in every single movie to the point where they just start playing themselves. Oh, we need a loud, energetic guy who's kind of a goofball? Go get Jack Black. That seems like the road we're going down. Secondly, I don't know why Jason Momoa looks like this in this movie. If someone could explain that to me, that would be great. I just feel like nobody was checking the decisions that people were making. They were just like, yeah, sure, we can do that, whatever, we're Warner Bros. We have the money. Anything you can dream about here, you can make. Oh my, it seems like there might be some sort of conflict with the pigmen in this movie that might have something important to do with the plot. Maybe, maybe give us some insight on what that might be. A little snippet on the kind of story we can expect here. No? Okay, no, that's fine. I asked for too much. Who are you? I am Steve. <sighs> okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. Ha! Get it? Because he carries tools? Yeah, clever. Um, again, another 15 seconds or so spent on reaction shots. I'm really glad we're learning what this movie is about. Like, seriously, what was the thought process here? There are two types of people who will watch this movie. People who love Minecraft, who will likely already know who the guy in the blue shirt is. And people who don't play Minecraft, who are going to gain absolutely nothing from knowing that this guy's name is Steve. But really, that's where the trailer ends. The only thing that happens after this is a 3D shot of the Minecraft logo, and then a llama, I think, making a stupid face and then getting trampled. Seriously, that's it. Nary a mention of what this movie is actually gonna be about. You know, the traditional thing that a trailer for a movie tells you? It seems like we've got two different genre of trailers these days. We've got ones like that new horror movie. It's with the guy who always plays a weird role. I think it's called, like, Speak No Evil. Please don't hate me for not knowing that guy's name off the top of my head. We've got trailers like that that tell you literally everything that's gonna happen in the movie. To to the point where it doesn't even seem like it's worthwhile to watch it anymore. And we've got ones like this where are just advertisements to show you, hey, we've got a lot of famous people in this movie. That means you have to watch it. You gotta love the modern state of cinema. Well, guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this movie? Do you think it's gonna be good? Do you think it's gonna be a train wreck? Personally, after watching this trailer, I cannot imagine this being good. It's getting so much negative feedback that I think we might see a second Sonic situation go on here. I feel like something's gotta change, otherwise Otherwise, Warner Brothers is going to eat a pretty fat loss. Well, actually, I say that, but Minecraft kids are a different breed. They'd probably watch Paint Dry if it was marketed as the Minecraft movie, so I take that back. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.